Hi. Um, this would be a short one. I just wanted to show, um, at one point, I kind of showed these devices I made for, um, for, um, you know, holding up a cabinet or something like that that I'm building um, at one point. And I've kind of redone them a little bit to where I want them now. Um, I put some padding in here in case I've done some pre-finish or something. Um, and I, I did get these out of a magazine years ago, and I just made the copy, and I can't tell what magazine it was from. Um, but they just had made some slots in this base here, and then put a, like, say, a quarter-inch slot and then a that was wider and then a shallow... Uh, a less wide spot so they kind of made a T for a piece of wood and then they actually put a piece of uh, like quarter inch hardboard or something on the bottom I went ahead and used these or peach tree and I don't get any money off of these people or anything but I do like their um, this is basically a miter slot with a piece that fits in the miter slot so I don't know if you can see that in the end there but um, they it's very heavy duty. This is uh, this aluminum is thicker than we're used to, so I like it. Anyway, what I did is I made these little slots in the wood, and then I uh, got these at Rockler, and I can tighten these down. And um, so, as you can see, I can make a spot for something to go in, and I can put one down, and I've made four of them. I actually, one of them is not done yet. Here's, wh here's what the base looks like, um, screwed underneath and um, so on. Um, and they had the picture, and so I assume the 45 part was so I could put these backwards, so I, I could take... Um, one of these and turn it around. I'll do that for this one here. Turn it around the other direction. And I, God, I'm sure there's another way that may even be easier than this, but their way didn't lock anything down. But you could, like, say that you have something in a 45 degree and it's, it can sit in there and hold it up. So, anyway, that's fine because there's nothing to do with the other. I mean, you're only going to use one side anyway at a time. So, um, I just make a slot in a 2x4 like that. And uh, that fits that peach tree miter. And I, uh, I bought some of this black padded stuff. And I use this on my bench dogs that I've made and so on and uh, what I've what I've just figured out is is um, I use the same stuff on here um, I actually put a carpet tape behind it it was made by sure tape it's a blue color and boy it really holds well so this is so I don't damage the wood and uh, and that holds well so from now on I'm gonna, I'm gonna just put that on this stuff so it double sticks um, but anyway, this this uh, works real well, and as soon as I've got to order another piece to fit in this one, I have three of them made. This is all I got left to make the fourth one. Is just put a piece in there and cut it. They come at like four foot lengths, and uh, I really like that stuff. And they have uh, the peach tree um, heavy duty T slot. I like too because then you can use um, like the Craig. Um, uh, clamping things that kind of put quite a bit of pressure on a T-slot. So that's what I have in my table down here. I've got one back there, one up here, and, and I, I've showed that before um, what I do. In fact, this is a 3 8 one. Um, the, the peach tree has these too. Now, anyway, uh, works really well for clamping things down here. Um, and I don't have a ton of peach tree stuff, but this stuff is really good and uh, works really well. So I'm not necessarily promoting them, but I do like that slot. Um, 
Anyway, I'm going to do another short video on what I've done with dust collection on the underside of my uh, router table that I built. And I'll kind of add that. I'll make it like part four or something of the router table. Um, just a revision of what I've done. I found this spot so now I can leave my router table open. So anyway, watch for that one. I'll get that one on line pretty soon. Um, thanks a lot.